Now we're going to take you one more trip. It's the last trip that we've made up to Quebec. This time we took our guns, two caribou each. They were nice bulls. Here's the story. And by the way, that's what we'll close with. Enjoy yourself, caribou hunting. And like I said, give me a call if you have any questions. Good luck. Sunshine. Wow, that's something you don't see all that often near Ungava Bay in northern Quebec. And when you do, it rarely lasts more than an hour. This was our second hunt at the Puni camp out of Fort Chimo, a town that itself is in a remote region of North America. This hunting camp is even more remote, one of 18 locations that Safari Nordique uses for hunters who come to the northern tundra to take two caribou. That's the limit in Quebec. The herd has been growing over the past few years and the government of Quebec wants to keep it under control. Hunting is a logical method. The blue sky of 20 minutes ago is starting to load up with clouds and the caribou are starting to move. It's kind of exciting. They strolled 40 yards from our blind. If they were white-tailed deer, they would have smelled us. Well, the wind is blowing directly towards them, but I don't think they can smell us. It's always been my theory, but I could be wrong. Caribou don't use their noses, they use their eyes for survival. Can you see him? Well, they, they may cut right back across here. I wonder if he's going to come here or stick near the water. This was a big bowl. I'll just scope her just for kicks. Oh, boy, would that be a... What a shot that would be. Unlike white-tailed deer, the big males aren't reclusive. They travel in groups and follow the same trails as the other caribou. So a big bull could very well come through. Less than an hour from leaving camp, the sun was pinched behind encroaching clouds, squeezing snow all over the tundra. No need to worry, the sun would be back, probably soon. Just as quickly as the weather changes, caribou appear, this time a good-sized herd with a few bulls that were almost big enough. Boy, that's very tempting. Very tempting. Unlike white-tailed deer, caribou move continually. They do bed down, but when they're not bedded, they're walking. Even when they browse the lichen, they move. Quite a distance off. There were a couple of decent bulls in this group, but I wasn't confident I could make a clean shot. I just can't hold the crosshairs quite steady enough on that bull at that distance. I think they may be coming around. Apparently that thing's gonna swim. You never know where these caribou are going, but they seem to. Nothing is behind them pushing them, but they're usually deliberate and almost hasty as they move. But nothing real big. God, if I had a rock or something to rest this gun against. Just not confident with this. This happens a lot when you're caribou hunting. You scope a group of animals, but for one reason or another, decide to pass them up. Ha. Huh. Once again, it's snowing. Such a surprise. This is why waterproof boots are necessary in the tundra. If it was cold, I'd wear my felt packs. If it was fairly warm, I'd wear leather boots that I greased with mink oil or snow seal. I carried my gear in a bucket, which I sat on, and kept my spare clothing dry. Here we are. The home for the week, our tent that repelled a lot of rain and heard lots of stories. We had quite a cosmopolitan group in our little home. Jerry and his son from Muskegon, Dwight and John from Ohio, all of them Midwestern deer hunters. Then from Reno, Nevada, Clell and Damon had the other two bunks. Lots of jokes, lots of stories, lots of dreaming about the caribou we'd see the next day. I'm walking through a bog right here where both John Ford and I got our first bulls on the second day of the hunt. 
We came back to this spot the next three days, but never had any really big ones come within range. Oh, there was one that I saw I would have taken, but it was moving too fast. Boy, look at the size of that. There's three good bulls. Man, that middle one there, look at the way those, oh God, those arch right back over the top of the shovels. Ooh, that's a nice one. And there's one following up the rear. No, it's a lot smaller. It has darker antlers. Boy, I sure like that light antlered one. I can't tell what the shovels are like, but that's a big bruiser. See how they trot? That's how they move from one spot to another. Unlike white-tailed deer that walk slowly, stop, pause, scent the wind. These caribou prefer the open tundra. They stay in herds, keep moving, and use their eyes to watch for wolves. That's the predator that stalks them 365 days a year. Yeah, that's a... If there's any decent bulls. Okay, I see a... Just think I should take one? Yep. On the last afternoon of our five-day hunt, it's time to take one. God, they're, they're screened. I hadn't been running. My respiration increased because I was anxious, excited, maybe a little nervous. Yeah, there's a little calf. That's a little bull there. Boy, they're not very big. Just wait, just wait. Let them they're not very big. I'm sorry, folks. I'm a meat hunter, and these weren't big enough. I don't know. Those bulls just don't look that big. They're just very small bulls. Here we are, the, the last day. I don't know how much many more hours can, we can let pass and I stay picky like this, but I mean, for the wild game dinner, I want some meat, and those just weren't big enough. That's how I make my decisions when I hunt. I gambled that we'd see more caribou in the few hours we had left, and an hour later, we did. You can't see the bull that I'm looking at. Boy, I don't know. I had a few seconds to make up my mind, and I did. The bull I took went down to the left of where John Ford could see with the camera. The other caribou walked right on by my bull that was soon to be boned out and on its way to our annual April wild game dinner. Cared for properly, wild game isn't wild at all. In fact, we'll have hundreds of guests this year that say they can't believe it. How can this be wild game? We bring home lots of good meat from our hunting trips. John Ford captures many golden moments on videotape. We relive our adventures over and over again. And when I see this, I'm ready to go back again. Boy, that was one big bull, wasn't it? <laughs>